So, this is good. And this is a big story, but not for us. Uh, it, it's a big story for cross-border payments in SWIFT, and I'll get to that in a second. So, U.S. federal regulator says banks can conduct payments using stable coins, and that's Brian Brooks. He's the czar of the OCC, Office of the Comptroller of Currency. Makes all the things happen, right? And this is what happened. So the federal banking regulator published in a letter addressing whether national banks and federal savings associations could participate in independent node verification networks, or INVNs. I, I didn't know that was, a, that was an acronym, so great. Uh, otherwise known as blockchain networks, and use stable coins. Letter said these financial institutions can participate as nodes on a blockchain and store or validate payments. All right, so that's a lot of jumbo. Uh, what does this mean? This was the quote. Kristen Smith, executive director of the Blockchain Association, said on Twitter that the letter states that blockchains have the same status as other global financial networks such as SWIFT, ACH, and Fedwire. So what is happening here? And I don't want the rest of the article is, is good. Billy wrote it, but... Uh, Kind of long-winded, really. So here's what happens. Um, banks are now going to be able to use stable coins as payments. If banks can use stable coins as payments and you want to transfer money from your business to another business or a person to a person, uh, we don't have to use ACH. We don't have to, have to use SWIFT, which sucks. We don't have to use Fedwire, none of that stuff. I mean, you can if you want to, but why would you want to? Um, have you ever tried to wire any kind of money to another country? I have, and it's awful. Uh, especially when, because I have my Amazon uh, FBA business, to wire money over to China, forget about it. Uh, to wire money over to uh, India or to, to, to Europe, you could do it, but it's going to take a long time and the fees are crazy. So uh, why would you do that when you just use a stable coin, when it's like next to nothing? So this, if I was swift, I'd be pretty worried right now. This leads me to my next point. If we're talking about cross-border payments, and banks can use a stable coin, like a Tether, like a USDC, or like something else that hasn't even been, hasn't even been invented yet, or RSR. What's going to happen with XRP when they come out of this lawsuit with the SEC? And they say, okay, well, you're a security or not a security. Cross-border payments, what happened? Oh, well, we're using stable coins. So how does it all work now? Now you can talk about on-demand liquidity. That is true. And that's a whole other topic for another uh, video. But I think if you've got banks who are like, you know, we can use stable coins, it just kind of muddies the water. Anyhow, let me just think of the comments section. That'll be interesting. Let's move on to our last one.